So we are getting close to Mass Effect Andromeda releasing, and a lot of people are understandably excited because a lot of people love this series. But I wanted to tell you about a story that hasn't had a whole lot of light shined upon it, mainly because the mainstream media stays away from it like the plague. And it's not a brand new story. It's a story that I almost did a few months ago, but I thought maybe something, you know, else would be in the news that would, you know, bring media attention where they would almost have to cover this, but it hasn't. So this is something that's been ongoing for quite some time. So many of you may have heard about this before, but for many of you, I bet that you haven't. And that is the fact that EA and BioWare have a very proud, out-of-the-closet racist who is a leading developer on Mass Effect Andromeda. And the developer, his name is Manvir Hare, uh, Air, whatever, who openly promotes his role at EA and BioWare on his Twitter profile and likes to post pictures like this of him drinking a cup that reads White Tears, making posts that read, I follow too many white dudes, so if you get called tough shit, blame the dominance of your species, race, gender. Uh, apparently, Manvir isn't the same species as the rest of us. I mean, maybe he's reptilian, maybe he creates his own species and gender, sort of like a Tumblr blog. Uh, I, I mean, I knew racists were dumb, but this guy's like next-gen mentally defective. But just imagine for a moment that this was a developer for Mass Effect, and he tweeted that he was following too many brown women and that he was going to unfollow them due to their race and gender. How many seconds do you think it would take CNN, Kotaku, Polygon, everybody to jump on board to demand this guy be fired? And I mean, these aren't just a couple of posts here and there. This is his whole Twitter feed almost dedicated to bigoted, vile racism. He also likes to use the N-word quite a bit, even though he's not black. He's actually Indian. He comes from India. He talks about not wanting to move to a location because of all the white people. He wants to stop hiring white people. I mean, yeah, because that's so tolerant, right? That, that's so diverse to, to be able to stop hiring a particular ethnic group based on the color of their skin. How accepting these social justice warriors are. Don't you just love it? This guy is the very definition of a racist. Having prejudice or disdain for a group of people simply based on the fact that they were born into a skin that they didn't even choose. And seeing how EA and BioWare does absolutely nothing about it, it would almost appear as though they condone this type of behavior. I mean, I guess if you're a racist, EA is hiring. But again, who is going to deny the fact that if this guy was making posts about the LGBTQTPRSTD community like this, how fast would he be out of a job? If he were a white guy, which let's be quite honest, he really isn't that far from even being a white guy. Uh, he even talks about people mistaking him for a white guy. And I'd almost guarantee that his family mixed with Europeans at one point. I mean, there's some summers where I'm darker than this guy is. But if he were a white guy and he said this same sort of stuff about blacks or Hispanics, he didn't want to move in, into a certain community because they have too many Chinese people or something like that. This would be all over the news. You would have CNN, BBC, your favorite social justice sites like Polygon, Kotaku, having a field day with this. And this would be some sort of story that would be brought up time and time again, even months or years down the road. But what do we get? Silence. Silence from EA, silence from BioWare, silence from the media, except when the media actually pushes his views as something actually noble. This guy was actually invited to GDC in order to give a speech on racism. A racist invited to speak about racism. How much crazier can it get? 
But it, it, it's only because he identifies as a social justice warrior and a feminist that he's cleared from all this by the media. And so he walks around with a chip on his shoulder acting as if he's persecuted when in fact he's probably more privileged than most people watching this video right now because he's able to have a job where he makes excellent money, traveling the world, being able to work at one of the most prestigious gaming companies in existence, and yet blinded by hate for people who he doesn't even know, who again were born into a body that they had no choice in picking. This is one sad man. And, and I, I mean this honestly, I truly feel sorry for him. Uh, because people like this who post nonstop racism on social media, I mean, you you have to have a life that is a very dark and sad place. Now, I'm not calling on anybody to boycott this game. Uh, a lot of people who aren't racist worked very hard on this game. But I do hope that you see the double standard. I hope that you see the hypocrisy of social warriors. And I hope you hear the silence from the media and the blind eye given by EA and BioWare. And I hope you live by the words of Martin Luther King who said we need to judge people based on their character and not on the color of their skin and not fall into the hateful bigotry of people like Manveer Air. That does it for me, The Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah.